What the heck is up, y'all? It's 5.0 time. Who's excited? Let's see. I am. Let's see what they got. All right. Let's greetings. Do that more. Yeah, there we go. <clears throat> My bad. All right. Greetings, owners. Welcome to update 5.0. If you haven't already, please read over our newest roadmap. Definitely check that out. If you haven't, I will post the link in the description below. Um, please read over our newest roadmap post for more insight into the future of the game. Uh, if you have read our latest roadmap post, you'll know that over the coming months we're ex we'll be exploring some exciting new directions for Marvel Realm of Champions. Given that our team is hard at work on some bigger innovations, the 5.0 update is a lighter update than some of our previous ones. E. That's too bad. Let's see what yeah. it is, though. <laughs> Follow us on our channels, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube. Uh, join the conversation on our community thread and Discord. Definitely join the Discord if you haven't. Yeah, the Discord's really good. Um, to ensure that you don't miss out, uh, we're very excited for the future of the game and can't wait to share more with you. Yeah, as much as we work on this company, they are very good for responding on Discord, actually. Yeah. They got really good support, too, actually. Yeah, their support system. Yeah. And, like, even if you don't get the answer you want on Discord, like, how many games do the devs actually, like, answer you? Yeah. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> All right, let's see. Uh, that being said, let's hop into the notes. Ooh, all right, table of contents. So it looks like we're gonna have a new monthly event, um, some notable new features, some champion balancing, and some gear and synergy balancing. Well, let's see what the notable features are. Yeah, hopefully <laughs> some good hopefully bug some fixes. Stuff. Yeah. All right, monthly event. Ooh, Scar is back and ready for more. Gather your team to hop back into the Dragon Boneyard to take on Scar an uh, epic 3v1 action. Ooh, what? so is that going to be... Oh, no, that's... Three of us against Scar. Yeah. Back to the same map, though, eh? Is that what it is, too? It says back to the Dragon Boneyard, so I'm guessing it's the same map. Dang, even the same map? Ouch. All right, that's okay, though. Uh, each week, a different future champion will receive the call to face Scar. This call will provide the champion with a unique buff to aid you in your fight against Scar. So that's new. Oh my god, I hope he just doesn't do. Remember that thing where they did where he like slashed the sword down and it shot the ball out and it just instant nuked you? Yeah, that was... And the spin too. The spin was pretty brutal oh if god. you didn't see it coming. Yeah, the, at oh, least the I scars... hope he doesn't have those moves again. The Scar stuff actually was really challenging now at least. Like... The, the hard part was the part where it said you couldn't die. Yeah. That was the problem. For sure. Because he just nuked you when he hit you once. Yes. Yeah. so stupid. Yeah, because you and like if you ha you um didn't even have your dodges up enough sometimes. Like yeah, and it was like, before literally... they fixed the Hulk circle too, right? So like you still were getting hit on the edges and shit. Yeah, 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 oh. true. It was awful. Hopefully it'll be a little more user friendly this time. Yeah. All right, let's see notable new features. This is what I'm excited for. All right, alliance improvements. Uh, alliance now have uh. Unified Sorry. access point on the home screen with much clearer messaging on when Alliance events are up and when you have rewards to claim. What he said. That's dope, actually. I thought they already kind of had that, though, with the little, like, triangle thing that they had going on. But... Yeah, but you had to actually click it and, like, look no, but at what's it. didn't have, like, a dot blinking on That's it. That's just or... our Alliance chat. It didn't tell you, like, what events were going on. No, like, the thing on the sidebar, like, it goes, like, shot, or it goes, sorry. Yeah, the backpack, like the, the shop, it's and the then it's like the thing. yeah. So and they it, already had that. Yeah, but like some right. people like don't even log in. I guess if they don't log in, so they're not gonna see it anyway. Okay. Fair. So uh, I, I wonder what this. I wonder what this is gonna be though. Yeah. Because like it was already there, so like this is gonna be something more. Yeah, right? that's true. So that'd be dope. Oh my god! Oh my god! We can have seventy-five friends. Oh my god! That's actually gigantic. I'm not even gonna lie. Sorry, I deleted some people. Ugh. All right, uh, alliance member now listed on social screen. Okay, dope. Uh, players are no longer required to be friends before you can invite them to a party. Even doper. Yeah, so you can invite people out of the chat. Yeah, inv yeah. Invite players. Chat. Oh, it says that's the next one. <laughs> yeah. Oh, hey, what the fuck? Yeah, I know. It says control. Oh, sorry. Just wait. First, the next one sorry, here is yeah. new looking for a group chat channel added. Ooh. So there's going to be like the general and the looking for a group. Nice. So there's going to be two chat channels now, essentially. Hopefully people don't misuse looking for group. But... They will. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So I'm not going to lie. It looks like they kind of edited a bunch of screens together here. And 
Yeah, hopefully this isn't actually cut off for the version that they put out. We'll, actually, we'll tell them after. Let's yeah, we'll, we'll make sure they know yeah. about this. What does it say, though? Control your party invite preference from the new social... Something I... of settings. Yeah. Social... Control your party invite... Here, you want to look at it from here? You might be better at guessing it than that. Control your party invite preference from the new social... I can't read that word still. Of setting. Yeah. So it seems like you can set yourself as being, like, away if you don't want to get a oh, party invite. Oh, that's invites. dope. That would be dope if that is what it is. Yeah. Alright, well, let's skip that for now. We'll make sure that they get that fixed. Refresh button added to friends and alliance member list. <laughs> Yo, these are actually, like, okay, these are hella these are like good quality, good of, quality life of life changes. These are, that's the most tilting one, especially for us, because we're sitting side by side. I'm not gonna, I think that this one literally was made for me and Cheddar. I'm not even going <laughs> to lie. I don't know how many times on stream, I'm like, I see you're on. Like, Because it's different, like, when you're both on Discord or whatever, and, and someone's like, okay, yeah, I'm, I'm in the game. game or whatever, and they're messaging on Discord. It's like, no, you're on Discord, you know? Yeah, you're like, on the game, yeah. Yeah, but, like, we can actually see that we're online. Yeah. Add friend button now present on player profiles. That's kind of cool, too. I didn't know that wasn't there. You have to like hit the three dot and hit add friend. If you actually look at their profile, you can't add friend from there. Oh. I don't really know if it was needed, but maybe it'll be nice. Sure. All right, champion balance. Here we go. The vibranium shield, though. <laughs> Super soldier is a very adaptable tank. We want to ensure he is. He still has tools to be an effective front line for his allies, but want to reduce his burst damage potential. We are reducing the frequency of heavies and shield throws as well as making some minor ratio adjustments to reduce his damage in the highest levels of play. Super Soldier should feel more reliant on his allies to follow up on his engagement and disruptions, but with the right gear he can still deliver a deadly wall. Wall. Yep. Interesting choice of words. Yeah. Alright. <laughs> Let's see what it was. Alright, heavy attack. Shield block, so reduced attack uh, power ratio by 11%. Okay, uh, pretty minor nerf, but might be a different. 11%, so like if yours does like 300 right now, it'll do 270. Yeah. It's like. Minor, but nice. Minor, yeah. Uh, reduced cool, fun, cool down refund time, so instead of 70, it's going to be 60. That's going to make, make it a little bit better. I wonder if they're going to like scale the whole thing a little bit different. Or if just 60 or if is the it's new just cap. 60 is the new cap, yeah. Because that just means that you have to hold it up for an extra like half a second or whatever. Seems to me like 60 is just the new cap. The new cap. The way I'm reading yeah. that. I guess it's so you don't get 70 all the time because 70 means that you're only like a second and a half time, away from your next wall. Yeah. Alright, heavy attack, no shield. Heavy kick. Reduced attack power, so drop that by 3%. 3%. And reduce the cooldown refund as well. Okay. So, the same kind of thing. You know what? Okay, and here's the shield throw. Uh, adjusted cooldown from 5 seconds to 6. So it was 7. They dropped it to 5. I think it was 8. eight. Sorry, you're Yeah, right. it was 8. He was completely useless. They, they dropped, dropped it to, to 5. five. He was the much. best champion in the game. So now we're going up to 6. And I do... And if he stays strong, I guess, maybe they go up to 7 and they were wrong the whole time. They only need to drop it by 1 second. I think, in. though, honestly... With the reduction in the blocks, in the blocks, and in the the little bit of damage, even though it's super minor, I do think that's gonna make a big difference. But you know what I didn't see in here? Yeah, but that's just that's all just uh, like the damage from your heavy. I was say about to say it doesn't really say anything about the shield throw, which is actually ridiculous. The bounce, yeah, is actually stupid. I think that would be like one way that they could. Uh... It doesn't Reduce bounce. the date, like, or only let it bounce one time instead of, like, four. Yeah. Sometimes it'll, like, I'll get hit with it, so I'll get stunned or whatever, and then it'll hit you, then it'll it hit me, person. and then it hits the other person, and then it hits me, and then it goes back to cap or whatever. Like, something stupid like that. And kick, like, 900 damage. Yeah. Or, or actually, sometimes that's, like, 80s and shit. You take, like, fucking 1,300 damage, you're just dead. Yeah. Well, we'll see if that this is going to be enough. All right, I think this is just saying the same stuff. No, 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 it's not, because this is the other shield. It's going to say something else. Sorry. Super Soldier's Crackdown is a powerful tool for breaking open an enemy team. We are making adjustments to the scaling of this special ability to reduce the damage of the secondary explosion. 
the lengthy stun and powerful area of effect detonation still allows Super Soldier to incapacitate entire teams single-handedly, but now he will require some extra follow-up to finish them off. The changes to Super Soldier's shield block are to maintain parity between Super Soldier's weapons. Okay, so the shield block stuff's the, the same. same shit. And then Crackdown and then special crackdown, power. Crackdown, yes. Reduce special power ratio by 10%. Kind of a lot, considering it was already not crazy meta. Right? Or am I wrong? It says 0.4 to, to 1.6. It's supposed to be 0.1. And that says 0. 0.4 to 0. 0.14. Oh, it's like 0. 0.4. That the was range. how much. No, no, that was how much damage it dealt on the first hit. hit. Oh. And then 0. 0.14 is now how much damage it's going to deal on the second. So hit. it's still doing the same amount on the first. On the hit. first hit, but the first hit, uh, I got hit by like some really strong ones, and I think it was like 300 and something. So it's not much, but it's pretty. But it's good. enough to finish you off. Yeah. If you're almost dead, you can finish you off and then stun the other guy. Yeah. It, it, it is pretty devastating, but it's it's a lot easier to get out of than it used to be. <laughs> For sure. Not as devastating as it used to be. Oh no, my bae. Stormbreaker. Thor's Stormbreaker is a powerful brawler with a deadly execute. We want to maintain the devastating impact of the Titan Killer, but, we, but are taking steps to reduce its frequency. A cooldown adjustment for God of Thunder will reduce the frequency of his empowered special abilities and reduce... Uh, and a reduction to the ultimate charge earned by Lightning Whirlwind will reduce the speed that he can generate ultimates. These changes give Thor's opponents more opportunities to deliver more significant impact while his specials are recharging and a chance to get their own ultimates charged. They're giving away his secret. <laughs> but he's so sh he's like weak when he doesn't have his specials, so yeah. they're making them longer cooldown. Yeah. yeah. Cause it's the lightning whirlwind thing was ridiculous already though. It was really good. Because you could look, if you uh, dashed into them or whatever, however you got into the middle of all of them and you had that thing on, your, your ultimate would charge so fast. Oh, it was ridiculous. And it's hitting all three. Like I've literally, I literally had it one time where like, I got my ultimate in like 15 seconds. Like I swear, like I ulted and like, it was like two special, like two SP1 engages later I had it. I was like, what? Like I just did this. Now yeah. mind you that was on Molnir. like 30 but... seconds. Yeah. Oh, well, um, that was on Molnir. Oh, so you're just like staying right in there. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, so uh, they adjusted that cooldown by uh, two seconds, so it's gonna go from 14 yeah, to 16. Yeah, two, two more seconds. It's a really one. long time. Yeah. It's... You don't think it is, but it is. It's not that bad, but it's pretty bad. I don't know. That's like how long Hulk's is now. And Hulk's in Rage is way too long. You lose that shit, ugh. But it's 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 because of how long it's up for. That's why. Yeah. All right. So, uh, lightning whirlwind uh, reduce ultimate charge by fifteen percent. We already talked about that one. I don't care. I didn't pay attention. I read it and didn't pay attention. All right. Change to Molnir's God of Thunder to maintain parity. So yeah, just skill one cooldown. Same thing. <laughs> just so that it's all the same. I know. They did that when uh, they fixed Black Panther. It was like two patches the ago. The shield, yeah. The yeah, the skill one was different on both people, and that was the only thing that had something like that. Then they adjusted that one, and now they've been keeping, keeping the same. special one thing the same. For it should everyone. though, because then you're not automatically gonna play another weapon. Because that's what happened. Everyone played Spear because the shield was two seconds shorter. Yeah. Of course you're gonna play Spear. All right, let's get into this. I am excited for this Storm Lightning Staff. Uh, Storm Lightning Staff is intended to be the premier special power focused attack champion. To support this, we are adding additional opportunities for high impact. Whoa, oops. Sorry. <laughs> um, to support this, we are adding additional opportunities for high impact combos to allow lightning staff to deal massive damage whenever storm strikes a foe already afflicted with electrify with any special attack. Oops, I read that weird, sorry. Uh, it will refresh the duration of the electrify debuff. Thunder Temptress, in addition to refreshing electrify on strike, is now able to apply an additional electrify buff each time it strikes. Interesting. Amplifying each subsequent hit for bonus damage and dealing extra damage over time. Remember, while Storm can easily melt her foes with lethal Storm Lightning, she is still extremely fragile. Be sure to play safe in order to remain effective in the battle world. Yo, what are they doing giving out all these tips on the champions all of a sudden? The fuck? No, no, Storms, you come into me. <laughs> Alright. Oh, unless you're on my team, then get the fuck back. 
Um, okay, <laughs> general, new. Hitting a foe afflicted with electrify debuff with a special ability refreshes electrify. Okay, like, have they explained electrify yet, or am I missing that? Like, what it actually is? It's like, um, you know, like the burn? Yeah. Or whatever, yeah, it, like, kind of burns so you a little bit. So are we just bit. supposed to be assuming that, though? But it, it also, uh, increases special damage to the target. Okay. And the, the electrify thing's really small, because on uh, Spider-Man... Web oh, yeah, shooters like or whatever, a... SP2. It's, it's it's like 11 or something. I don't I don't know what it is. No, I have no mine's like 44. Power. It's 44? It's that but, but I have a little bit of shock power. I do have... You do um, have shock power? Yeah. Okay. Um, so maybe that's why? Because like maybe it scales like one-to-one -one with your shock power? Potentially. And you I have a shock I power one. one. I don't. Yeah, maybe. Makes sense. Um, our general new... Yeah, okay, sorry, I read that. Um, okay, so that seems really interesting. So it's like the electrified debuff on Spidey. Okay, that makes sense to me. Um, yeah, well, she had it the whole be... time, though. Her oh, skill really? one put electrify. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess I knew that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. Right, so, it, like, you'd skill one them, and then you'd skill two of them, and it would do, like, a bunch of damage. So now we're going to be able to put more electric debuffs on. That's what's going on here, right? That's what they're saying? It's going to keep refreshing it every time you hit them with a special. Oh, okay, 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 gotcha. All right, adjusted cooldown from 10 seconds to 8 seconds. Dope! And if it sticks with the parody thing, that means... Yeah, that means they all get it. They're all gonna get it. And that's a 20% reduction. You know what? That's actually huge because I might be mistaken, but I think Storm SP2 is 16 seconds. Oh, so you can get two off? So now you have a chill in between your freeze combo. I think. Well, maybe. Either way, I know that it was like a lot quicker. Probably if you wore the uh, stupid oh, hand yeah. wrap things for her that gave her the reduction, you could probably definitely yeah. do too. Um, all right, new... Special 3, Thunder Tempest. New. Inflict Electrify debuff on hits. So while she has that stupid circle around her, and she can, like, actually fly around the map pretty quickly. So it's going to uh, do the damage put... plus Electrify damage. Yeah, and more, then... Right? Yeah, well, it'll give them an Electrify debuff, which will increase your special damage. And mm. every time you hit them with a special, it extends the Electrify debuff. So you're just right? going to wreck people with your ult. Hopefully. Maybe. You have to be careful, but... I don't know how much more damage Electrify adds, but I've been hit by that ult. It doesn't do a crazy amount of damage. It does a lot. Hopefully this will That's not, like, help nutty. Alright, a Storm Blizzard 1 is a crowd control queen. Her specials have the capability to turn, the, turn a battle with a single well-timed freeze. We want to improve the frequency of her specials and duration of her chills to give Storm more opportunities to reliably weave her specials together. So, chill went from 2.5 seconds to 3.5 seconds, which is actually a lot. Yeah, um, that's actually a lot. Yeah. That's a long slow, three and a half seconds. It's a really long time. Oof. Especially since, like, when we were saying it was long, I was like 2.5, but whatever. No, that's the chill duration, not a I know, just, freeze duration. I know. Oh, sorry, you're right. That's so my comment duration. just didn't make sense. But, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I knew it was the chill duration. That's a long slow, though. I wonder how long the slow is on, uh... Wind storms heavy. I'm pretty sure it's three seconds. Yeah. That would um, be fair. Adjusted cooldown, eight seconds. Yeah, uh, so that's the same. Oh, where's where's wind? There is no wind. There. Oh, hey, where's special ability cooldown on yeah, wind? Yeah, for wind. Hey, where's the parity between weapons, yo? Does it say, does it say anything about parity up here? Does it? Okay, can you go back down to the... See you a long time, Chelsea. Where are you going? Sorry, I was reading. Can ah. you go to the ice one? Sorry. It doesn't say anything about parody in that, though, right? No. <laughs> huh? Okay, well. Weird. Well, I probably should have read this more in depth before this video to get answers to these questions. But that's okay. No, we asked the questions afterwards. <laughs> um, Alright. Iron Legionnaire Proton Cannon, I'm actually kind of excited to try this out, not even gonna lie. Um, Iron Legionnaire's... You know what? I almost made it through the whole thing, okay? I almost did it. <laughs> Iron Legionnaire's Proton Cannon is the ideal sniper. Its long-range specials and quick relocation ability allow him to capitalize on superior positioning. However, he can sometimes struggle to deal sustained damage due to his lengthy cooldowns. To address this, 
And to offer a new strategic layer, we are adding a massive cooldown reset on successful proton beam hit. Skillful iron snipers who can consistently hit their shots will be rewarded with powerful rapid fire lasers. Special ability to proton beam new refunds nine seconds of cooldown on hit. So on it goes a from hit? On so, a. like, if you hit two people, does it give 18 seconds? No, just give it back. Yeah. You just, like, make him have, like, a crazy lightsaber. They just be swinging at y'all. Well, J-Red's gonna be happy. Yep. <laughs> I don't know. I know a lot of the guys that are gonna be happy. Um, The one night I faced uh, Val Cran and Fatal Rap, Triple Isle Proton. Weird. It was hilarious, actually. They won. They won real life. <laughs> well, they do a lot of damage. Oh my god, yeah, they're they're all so good at IL. Oh my god, <laughs> like so that, like that's gonna be crazy for them. That actually. skill's really hard to land, though. You know which one it is, right? You remember playing Proton Kid? Oh yeah, because I played. Because he like winds it up and then he like slaps it down or what. Like, I guess he actually, like, brings his cannon up and shoots, shoots it really it. slowly. But, like, yeah, it looks like he, like, winds it up and then slaps it down on it really slowly. Alright, let's get into this gear and synergy yeah. balancing. Super Soldier, adaptive alloy. So, I'm not gonna lie, a lot of people on the Discord and who pay attention kind of already know this happens. <laughs> but that's okay. I'll uh, say what the Electrify thing on Storm. If they looked... I didn't see anybody talk shit. Nobody looked at my girl Storm. Me and Veru were talking about that today. They're, all these, the ones that are coming up are all implemented already. And only people noticed the alloys. <laughs> that was it. Only the text got changed, though. Yes, it didn't After actually, maintenance, like... all the text changed, but it didn't actually come in, because I, I think I heard people saying they were still getting 10, 10 stacks. 10 stacks, yeah. But the one part that it never told you anywhere is the stack duration thing and going down, and know. no one was talking about that. Yeah. From 6 to 3 seconds. Yeah, so even though you only get 6. Oh, so you only get six, and they only last three seconds. Ouch! So he can't disengage when he has them, otherwise he'll, like, essentially lose them. Right? Yeah. It's not, like, a huge deal for the people that already ran the, uh, thing, like, when your heavy ends, you get a shield, and it takes yeah. all your stacks. Yeah. Right? That's just so, gonna make the armor piece even more useless than it already was, though, but yeah. Well, it's gonna make that piece so much more needed. Oh, you think so? Well, otherwise you're gonna like you're gonna lose your stacks. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. yeah. True, true. All right. Not the oh, end, actually. Yep. That's... Just the, the end of it is just them saying like, "Sorry, Cap." RB. Yeah, we too made you, strong. We buffed you guys three or four patches in a row. They buffed him, and then they gave him this OP synergy on top of bus buffing him four patches in a row. So like, well, I think I, I think that was just one of the patches. I don't know. I think every player who plays right now kind of saw. What, the cap thing? The cap thing coming. Maybe not the alloys getting... No one knew what it was going to be, but, like, everyone kind of seen... It showed a lot in seasons, actually. A lot of double vibe cap or a vibe and an arc sometimes. And if you look through the leaderboard, you yeah, couldn't then, go scroll through a, a page without well, seeing two or three. that happens when, like, two people on every team are playing one champion and all. Bunch them up. Skew the results, that's for sure. I'm yeah. sure that uh, they got the data on all the players or whatever that finished in seasons. They could probably see how many people had Super Soldier as their main guy. Right? And how many people ran Super Soldier in their team to get to that. How many games Super Soldier was in or whatever, but yeah. like that, that wouldn't really help them because... Like, I guess, but like maybe you see like every single team that had over 60% win rate had a cap in it. Like, you can't see that kind of stuff? Well, there's no? going to be like, yeah, there's also going to be teams that have like 100% win rate because they played one game together and then disbanded. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, sorry. I, I guess they could sort that, but like the team thing doesn't really matter. It's more about the player. Me and Cheddar are just getting off on a Cheddar yeah, basic we're, tangent yeah, anyway. Yeah, we're, we're going off on Yeah, we do this a lot. We actually made way, this one kind of short today. I guess that's showing that there's no new uh, content content in this one though, right? Uh, a lot of quality of life changes. Like, serious Some quality of life quality changes. quality of life changes. I don't know, the 75 for friends uh, thing is... Yeah, but you don't even need the 75 friends now that you can invite in chat. Right? Kind of. So, some quality of life stuff. The super soldier stuff. And then... Proton. Electric storm. 
Yeah. A little bit of nerf on Thor. Tiny nerf to Thor. A bunch of super soldier stuff. That's the uh... alliance improvement. Apparently, we'll see how that. Yeah, we'll see how that goes. The multi event. They just said scars coming back. And that's it. Mm-hmm. Like I said, so, I will be posting the link for the roadmap below. The roadmap below. thing, yeah. Um, I especially encourage you if maybe you left the game in the last few months and you're just kind of checking in to see what's going on, maybe check out the roadmap because maybe in three or four months you might want to come back because they have some things coming that would interest you. Also, Pinnacles just reset. Yes. So, so true. if you were like not active or whatever, you could come back and pinnacles are back reset so you could get all that gear and then even gear just and the again. t3s oh and the t3s I, well yeah. we don't know what's going to happen with it because like they never said they just said they're bringing it back are they bringing it back to like the exact same war thor's crucible all the exact same rewards or is it going to be something different. different yeah they haven't said yeah they're going to be like the a house divided one or whatever because that's the event or no what's the, what's the next event it was scar, scar. something right yeah so that would be like the Gamma Horde one or something. Monthly event. Oh, it just says Scar. It doesn't like give us the name of the monthly event. Hi. But yeah. We'll have to see on the 24th. Oh, they haven't given a date on this, have they? Because Pinnacles are reset on the 24th. I'm assuming this comes out on the 24th, but I actually do not know. Yeah, they never actually said. Give me uno momento. Chet is going to keep talking to you really quick here. What are you What are you looking for? I'm just checking to see if they actually gave a release date. No, they, they didn't. No? I go to the announcements in the Discord. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's just the... Yeah, that's just the thing about the... Uh... Mm-hmm timeline or whatever all right guys so looks like that is it be sure to like comment subscribe make sure to check us out on twitch uh we go live there monday to thursday uh 9 p.m est we try to end around 11 p.m um most days yes yeah. depends how what's going on <laughs> yeah some some events are a little oh. more tedious than others well, sometimes there's no people on it just bot matches for the last half hour stream and that's not that fun either <laughs> yeah I, we appreciate all and we will see you guys in the next one. Oh, sorry make sure to check out the synergy video that we posted if you haven't already to see how to gear up your champions